How's it going everyone? Welcome back to episode 2 of Battle of the Bells. This is Tony's 2011 Camaro SS. Bought it as a winter car to replace a Mini Cooper, John Cooper Works. And it's kind of stupid, but it's also kind of awesome. I guess I had three options when I was looking for a car. I wanted it to be a V8 manual and rear wheel drive. So it was a Mustang, a Challenger, or Camaro. And I don't know, I had a third gen. I need to stick with my Chevy roots. Virtually stock, it has a k and intake. Uh, three inch exhaust and a tune. And this is my car. Yeah, it's, it's just a Miata. I got it uh, three years ago, completely bone stock. It was my daily for a while, then I got a daily and I wanted to modify this, so I put a turbo kit on it, did some seat stuff and some other chassis mods. And now it's my little track car, fun car, and then I sold my daily and now it's also my daily. This car's really special to me because it was my first car. It was the car that I learned how to do everything on cars. And yeah. Now you might be thinking, what the heck? We have a Camaro and a Miata, probably the two most different cars you can possibly match, but you're gonna be surprised. They're both rear wheel drive, stick shift sports cars, and they actually have almost identical power to weight ratios. The Miata weighs pretty much nothing, makes not much power. The Camaro makes a lot of power, but kind of fat. As always, I'm going to drive both of the cars, talk about them, and you guys get to vote on which one you like better. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start off by Driving the Camaro. We're in the Camaro. First thing I notice is that we're actually in a tank. Uh, after driving a Miata, this thing is nothing at all like a Miata. It is massive. Inside, it's actually not too big. Like, it's pretty roomy in here, but like, the windshields are tiny, the, the windows are tiny, and you look out and the hood goes for like a mile. It's hilarious. It's not at all like, <laughs> and the e-brake is like, I have to like reach over to reach the e-brake. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so this is a, 2011 Camaro SS. It is the 1 SS. It's got the V8. Is it a 62? 60? 62. 62? 62. Okay, LS3. Uh, 426 horsepower stock. However, of course, this is Battle of the Build, so this car is slightly modified. Uh, intake, exhaust, and tune. So we're estimating it to be around 460 wheel, or no, 460 crank horsepower, around 400 wheel horsepower. Second most powerful car I've ever driven. I'm so used to driving turbo four cylinders that Driving a big V8 is probably going to be a little weird for me, but also really fun. Because, like, I'm in third gear, 30 miles per hour, I'm just kind of like... <laughs> it's just like, the, there's always torque. Before I owned any cars, the Camaro was actually my dream car. This was my dream car. Ooh, I like the pops. It's funny, it doesn't... Like, the Miata, it feels fast because it's light and it's making all these crazy noises. This one doesn't feel fast, but it is fast. I guess that's just kind of new, new cars in general are just so much more uh, refined than I'm used to driving. It's really awesome. All right, we're gonna do a little, a little bit of a six gear roll on, or second gear. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. If I'm cruising at anything under 2,500 RPMs in my Miata, it starts like not liking things. Here we are cruising at 900 RPMs in six gear. That's gotta be nice. I love the way four cylinder turbos sound, but. Not the same. It's not the same. It's, it's so different. Oh, being able to step on it and not have to wait for something to happen is really nice. Yeah, that's, pre that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll say it just keeps pulling. Like there's never, 
any drop off on top end. Oh, dude, yes, that is so good. But like the fact of just, it keeps pulling, keeps pulling, keep pulling all the red line and you put it in the next gear and instant power. That's so awesome compared to. It's not like it doesn't rev either. Right, yeah, it still revs the 6,500 RPMs, which is pretty decent for a 6.2 liter V8. It's awesome that I don't have to like be at Redline and have fun. Like I can be at 2,500 RPMs and still have fun. It'll take a turn better than you, better than you probably think. Oh yeah, uh, I think people. New cars, new suspension. It's got even from your stock Miata stuff. It's 25 years. Yeah, <laughs> 25 years is a lot in technology. Um, and this is, what, is like lowering springs? Uh, yes. Okay. I forgot what brand they were, but... <sighs> That's awesome. I wasn't revving it all the way out there. I was definitely short shifting, but... Damn. Does this car have a, a miles per gallon meter? Uh, yeah. You can spin Which button? dial on your left That's... on the stock. Honestly, that's not bad. Average fuel economy, 20.2 miles per gallon. That's pretty damn good. That's like what my Miata gets. What? That's not fair. I thought turbo four cylinders are supposed to be good on gas. It's funny because you think, you know, big V8 oh, worth so much, so much, but compared to like an iron four cylinder, iron turbo four cylinder in like my Miata, for instance, it's only like a couple, like a hundred pounds heavier, which is the sad part. Yeah, there's like that classic meme of like, the LS engine, and then there's the, the turbo BP engine, like face to face, and like it's an overhead picture, and like they're the same exact size. I, I've always really liked the Camaros, and driving one, I'm not at all disappointed. It's really awesome, I love the way they look. Oh yeah, that's not too bad, around corner. Damn, the power band is so awesome. I will say like, after owning so many turbo four cylinders, I've really grown to love the sound of a four-cylinder as boosted, like Subarus, boosted Miatas. It's probably the most disappointing thing is when, so I drive this all winter, and every time I go through a tunnel, I rev it up, it sounds fantastic. Yeah. And then in summer, I pull out the Miata, and I can pull into a tunnel, and it's like starting the weed whacker. Yeah. <laughs> so what am I doing? Yeah, I think people who have owned four cylinders for all their life like the way four cylinders sound and people who have ever owned a v8 like the way v8 sound more oh my goodness uh, another huge difference this in a miata is the shifter yeah the one shifter's is huge one, it's huge it's tall and it's clunky i do like it though it is really awesome to shift around it's, oh that was a really bad rough match sorry <laughs> I say I like it shifting and then I just screw up, but. All right, so here's where it's a little different. Tight corners. Oh, a little bit of understeer. I think at its limit, it definitely doesn't handle as well as like a Miata, obviously. But just like kind of like having fun around a curvy road, it's just as fun. And a ton of grip like pulling out of a corner. I'm not looking forward to how slow my Miata is gonna feel after driving this. Okay, so that's the Camaro. Really awesome to drive, really comfortable. Honestly, not a single bad thing about it. Maybe not as fun in the corners, but that's why we're gonna drive the Miata. We're gonna find out. Or try on launch control. Uh, yeah, traction control on yeah. that just turned off. No, you should be, it should hold at like 5,000 RPM. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was really fun. I'm so surprised it holds it at five grand. That's ridiculous. It, Especially with the all season, those things. Yeah, are it definitely didn't hook up, but it, was, it wasn't too bad. That was fun, that was really fun. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm also used to, my Miata has 
a bad case of wheel hop whenever I launch it. So that was like, boop, smooth, just go. Whereas my was like, -la 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 -la. Okay, so yeah, this was really awesome. I liked the Camaro a lot. Lived up to my hopes and dreams. This thing feels so small after driving your Camaro for that long. It is really small. That is hilarious. I didn't, wow, this is weird. I have not felt this feeling in a while of getting into a Miata and it actually feeling small. So I'm so used to it. But after driving that beast, I wasn't. So yeah, this is my Miata, boosted Miata uh, stock. This thing made a, a whopping 116 horsepower and 100 foot-pounds of torque. Right now with the, the turbo kit, the GT2560R Garrett Turbo, um, some other fun stuff, it's making 223 wheel horsepower around 260 crank horsepower. So if you compare that to the Camaro, the power to weight ratio is almost identical. This car weighs 2,300 pounds, makes 260 horsepower. The Camaro weighs 3,800 pounds and makes 460 horsepower. Uh, if you do the math, it's about 8.8 .8 pounds per horsepower for both cars. So, you know, theoretically they should be almost as fast, but I can guarantee you the Camaro is faster in a straight line by far. It's definitely different. After I drove the, the Speed 3 and the ST, it didn't feel weird getting back into my own car, but after driving your car, it feels weird getting back into this thing. And I'm kind of excited. You don't get those noises in the Camaro though. Where's all my torque? <laughs> I'm at 3,000 RPMs and I'm not going anywhere. What's happening? Maybe I should stop making these videos because then every time I drive another car, it makes my own car feel worse. So yeah, my transmission is suffering right now, but it's fun. It feels so slow. It's definitely just so much slower, but it does handle a lot better. You guys aren't gonna, <laughs> so terrible. Can't hear anything, you can't see anything. Wee! And right now I'm on my drift alignment, so it's still not ideal. It doesn't have grippy tires in the back. It only has grippy tires in the front, but it'll still be fun. I remember now how much of a go-kart it feels to drive a Miata. Like I look to like, like, back the corner of the car I'm like wow that's so close whereas in the Camaro like I can never reach that but here even with harnesses I could reach it I can't imagine how sad it would be to go from driving your Camaro to like a stock Miata oh that would be brutal be pathetic. yeah but the that is the noise I love So if I could have that noise with a V8, it'd be perfect. So. fun around corners, that's for sure. I do like the feeling of having like a super raw, like bare bones car. Like it's just the driver, the engine, no like fancy interior, no comfiness, no, it's just pure. Built to do one thing. Yeah, race car. Yeah, race car. <laughs>
See, I can do that and like, I don't feel bad because it's my car. So if I did that in your car, I'd feel really terrible. <laughs> I will say, I'm not disappointed. Right when I first got in this car and I did that pull in a straight line, I was like, damn, this car sucks. And then after being here, it's still awesome. So when I started this video, I thought these cars were super similar manual, wheel drive, sports cars. But I couldn't have been more wrong. After driving them, I realized this thing is a big, comfy, awesome car. It's really fast in the straights. It's incredibly fun to drive. But on the corners, well, it's still fun on the corners, but it's not like amazing. It's an almost 4,000 pound vehicle. The Miata, on the other hand, I thought this thing used to be fast after driving this thing. <laughs> It's slow, it's really slow. Not very fun to drive in a straight line, but on the corners, it's so awesome. I don't really feel like these video, these cars can be compared that well because they're so different. Like, of course this thing is gonna be fast. Of course this thing is gonna handle well. Just look at the size difference. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, either way, honestly, both these cars are so incredibly awesome. Thank you again to Tony for letting me drive his Camaro. Go check out his Instagram. Uh, thank you to Caleb for letting me drive my car. And I think that's gonna be it. You guys can go ahead and vote on which one you like more. I wanna thank all of you guys for your feedback on the last episode. I want this show to be pretty professional, but I also want it to be interactive with the fans. So if you guys have any more feedback, please let me know. I'll be happy to maybe oblige. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video of Battle of the Builds, this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like the video, dislike the video, subscribe if you're new, and see you next time. <laughs>